On November 14, 2022, an incident occurred at an SKLD Wyoming nursing home involving a staff member named Sue and a visitor named Michelle. Sue, the administrator of the facility, called the police on Michelle, accusing her of trespassing and taking pictures of her mother without permission. Despite Michelle's claims that she had not committed any crime and that the nursing home was a public facility, the police quickly convicted her of trespassing and detained her. She's not on the no, on the trespass list. So. Trespasser. Officially trespasser. There you go. Hi. Hi. I'm Sue. I'm the administrator. So we have a family member who had an allegation against her, and so we reached out to her and let her know that if she wants to visit, we need to meet with the team here and figure out a way we can keep the mom from being. Her guardian does not even want her to visit, but she. We talked her into letting her. Um, if we do supervised or promise that she won't take pictures of her mom and put them all over Facebook and TikTok and stuff because the guardian doesn't want that happening. She came in, refused to talk to me, slammed the door in my face, wouldn't let me in the room. So, I don't know. Do you want to trespass? Yeah, trespass at this point, yes. Until until she will come in and meet with us mm -hmm. and figure out yeah, what we can do. Yeah, you can always do. take the no trespass order because, away, but yeah. let's, let's get her trust back. That's because I don't want to I don't want to not let her see her mother, but she needs to do it so we can keep them out safe. During the encounter, Michelle argued that the nursing home, being publicly funded, should not be able to trespass on her without reasonable cause. She even mentioned contacting the facility's vice president, who allegedly stated that she had not committed any crime. Michelle believed that her actions were protected by her First Amendment rights, allowing her to visit the facility and take pictures freely. However, the police insisted that trespassing occurred because the nursing home, as private property, had the authority to restrict entry as they deemed necessary. They maintained that Michelle's refusal to cooperate and meet with the facility's team justified her trespass conviction. Pretty much like anywhere, just like if you walk into a speedway, they can say, hey, I don't want this person here anymore. It doesn't matter what the reason for it. They have to, if they tell me that, them and they want you try they say hey I want them trespass. So when I come back tomorrow I go to jail? Yeah you can't come back okay. until you Oh I will out. be coming back. Okay. And I'm I already let the own the the, the vice so, president and president I spoke to them today. The they said we haven't heard anything. Well then why are they doing this? Yeah. You might want to call, call her. Call them and tell them to call, talk to Sue then. Correct. That's the best you can do That's, right now. Yep, this is just a fu I'm sorry, this is a fucking joke. Yeah, I, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm just that's so. Don't come back on the property until you cleared up with the with the, like. The oh, vice I'm coming president. back tomorrow. I'll be I'll be here every day, and I don't care if I go to jail. I've already been told by lawyers, by the, the advocates that help Britney Spears, national okay. news, the the news a everybody's on this. That they've already told me if you have to push the envelope, push the envelope because that's just gonna you're seal not gonna be able the to lawsuit. Jail. Huh? You're not gonna be able to do that. No, but it'll seal the deal when I'm getting arrested for no crime. Okay. No, but that's what I'm saying. They can't say I'm trespassing they when can't. I've committed no crime. That is that they is can't. the crime. That's what we're trying to tell you. Michelle expressed her frustration and stated her intention was to return to the facility, disregarding the trespass warning. She believed that her case had gained significant attention, citing advice from lawyers and advocates who had helped Britney Spears. She asserted that pushing the envelope and standing up for her rights would strengthen her potential lawsuit against the nursing home. Furthermore, Michelle claimed that the one of the police officers violated her Fourth Amendment rights during her detainment. She alleged that he forcefully tried to seize her phone while she was attempting to inform her children of the situation. Despite not having committed any crime that warranted handcuffing, she was restrained by the officer. I'm not giving it to you. Okay, well then you're gonna be detained until we figure that out then. Huh? Then we're, you're detained until we figure that out then. Yeah. Either Why are you detaining me? Because you right now, you have to be trespassed. Okay, well, can I, hold on, can I make one phone call? Nope, you have to give me your driver's license. I or don't just tell have me your name. to give you, um, you already know my name. Okay, can you write down her name? Oh my yep. God. Exactly how it's spelled. So what's until, we, until we can find you and figure, we can figure out who you are. Hold on, exactly. I'm gonna call and let them know go pick up my kids and I'm being arrested. You're not being arrested right now, oh, you're yeah, being yeah. detained. So detained and arrested are two different things. Being arrested hold on. means that you've been charged with something, being detained is temporary. Hold on, I'm being detained Okay. Do you want to? because I won't give them my license. All right, so what's I've your date? I've done nothing wrong. What's your date of birth? I've committed no crime. What's Brandy, your date of birth? I committed no crime. Okay, now okay, you're being the detained then. And then we'll get a fingerprint scanner and then we'll figure it out. But go the phone. Randy, do you want to work with the police? I'm not doing anything wrong. Oh, right now, it's We're not Is playing games with you. Only if I've committed a crime, I'm being able to take you both for fishing and I've done nothing of the so sort. So right now, you've been trusted now, okay? Uh -huh. So we need to identify you so uh -huh. we can successfully trust uh -huh. you by doing our lawful job. 
Okay. Michelle's perspective on the incident raises concerns about the staff's handling of her visitation rights and the violation of her constitutional rights by the police officers. She intends to take legal action, asserting that her rights were infringed upon throughout the incident. In yet another troubling incident that occurred on October 31st, 2022, a visually impaired man named Jim Hodges was illegally arrested and detained by two Columbia County cops in Florida. The officers, Deputy Jamie Godey and Sergeant Randy Harrison, claimed that the walking stick Hodges had in his back pocket was a firearm, leading to his arrest without lawful authority. The encounter was captured on video by Hodges himself. When the officers approached him and questioned the object in his back pocket, Hodges explained that it was a walking stick. However, the officers insisted on obtaining his identification and detained him, citing their suspicion he was carrying a weapon. What's this in your back pocket? I just saw you walking it. It's a navigational aid. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am actually. What's your name and date of birth? I don't have to give that unless. Yes, sir. I was investigating. You have reasonable. Do you want me to put you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir. I do. Hodges questioned the officer's authority and refused to provide his identification, stating he had not committed a crime. He asserted that his Fourth Amendment rights protected him from unreasonable searches and seizures without probable cause or warrant. Despite Hodges' explanations, the officers continued to detain him and insisted on checking his identification. Well, you're being one to me. No, sir, I'm Have doing my job. Day. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? It does not matter. Yes, sir, it does. Do you have a crime? Would you like me Call to your put you in He's right here. All right. Don't, you know. So what's the stop you for? For a walking stick. Sure. And it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really present it, okay? Now she's asking me for to ID. I don't need the ID unless a reasonable, articulated suspicion and her, that I have committed a crime and committing a crime and or her, about to do a crime. Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay, and she's asking you for your ID. Well, now right. she has verified that I am not armed, okay? so there is no you problem. you have your ID or not? I do have my ID, okay. but you don't need it, okay? Okay. The incident constitutes a clear violation of Hodges' Fourth Amendment rights, which protect against unreasonable searches, seizures, and false imprisonment. Florida statutes define false imprisonment as forcibly confining, abducting, imprisoning, or restraining another person without lawful authority and against their will. In this case, the officers wrongly arrested and detained Hodges, despite identifying the object in his back pocket as a walking stick. It's going to be. I want your name and your badge you number. I'm putting in jail for resisting. Okay. All right, let's go. I want your name and badge number two, sir. Have a seat. You want to pick my property up, please? I sure will, after you have a seat. You want to pull this out of my back pocket? Sure. Here, I'll grab your jacket for you, too. After an investigation by the sheriff's office, it was determined that Deputy Godey and Sergeant Harrison had violated several department policies. As a result, Sergeant Harrison was immediately demoted and suspended without pay for seven days, while Deputy Godey received a two-day suspension. Both officers were also required to undergo remedial training on civil rights. Hodges has retained an attorney and plans to file a lawsuit against the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. He's also requesting a federal investigation into the incident. The case highlights the importance of protecting individuals' constitutional rights and holding law enforcement accountable for any violations. 
In this next video, in May of 2020, an incident unfolded in Columbia County, Georgia, where a man was filming a video outside the store. However, the owners of the store called the police on him, prompting officers from the Columbia County Sheriff's Office to respond. The officer in charge approached the man and requested his identification, citing a call about his videotaping activity. Yeah, we got a call about your videotaping yeah, on yeah, property. Just, Do you have no, I'm not on that property. I never step on the vice property. Oh, okay. No, no sir. No, I've just got the call. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting you know. Do you have a driver? Or an well, driver? I don't show my ID. I don't do nothing wrong. You understand? I'm, I'm filming in public, giving people free advertisement, and they approach me. And if you could just tell them that I'm not doing anything wrong. And but you weren't on the property. No, no, sir. I, I'm very careful not to do that. I'll pull GIS surveys and been doing this a long time. First Amendment. Protected activity, just just do it like just that. do just yeah. Free advertisement. Do you live around here? Um, Are you from here? I, I just, I'm no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no, I'm not from here. around here. Most people know me. I do this. I go around and you know okay. show people right from wrong, wrong from right. And you know when they say they call the police, yeah, we, we I don't, I don't leave. Yeah, just checking on it. yeah. But um, you were never on, on the property. No, I'm very close. <laughs> never ever to do that. Matter of fact, far as I was, right there at the edge of the curtilage, the uh, GAS survey starts. The man asserted that he had not committed any wrongdoing and explained that he was filming in a public area to provide free advertisement. He emphasized that he was careful not to trespass or infringe upon anyone's rights. Refusing to show his identification, he relied on his understanding of Georgia law, which states that unless someone has broken the law, they are not required to identify themselves. The officer alleged that the man had trespassed on the store's property, despite video evidence proving otherwise. However, the officer persisted in requesting identification to potentially charge the man with trespassing. The man made maintained his innocence and questioned the basis for his detention as he had not committed any crime. Um, unless I've broken the law, you don't have to ID in the state of Georgia. Um, you know, am I being detained? Well, for the moment, yes. For what crime? Until we find out what's going on. To what crime am I being committed? We were called because you were on their property. Right, and he determined I wasn't. Okay. Just hang, still, tight, hang tight. Just a minute, we'll get you out Am here, I being okay? detained for an unlawful reason? Yes or no? Right now, you're being detained because you were on their property and we're trying to find out what's going on. Okay, and I can prove that I wasn't on their property and they can't prove that I was. Or, you know, there again, I mean, issue me a trespass, I'll be on my way and then we'll go to court. But A staff sergeant arrived at the scene and the man recounted the entire incident, including his rights and the lack of any illegal activity. As the man spoke, the two deputies involved in the arrest stood by, seemingly embarrassed. Morning, How are you? What was your name and badge number, sir? Staff Sergeant Johnson, 93159. Hey, Johnson. I was explaining to them, I'm out here exercising my rights, First yes, Amendment rights. Um, private property starts about 1.2 foot on the other side of that telephone pole per government um, document um, survey. Well, okay. Anyway, I did my homework. I'm down here giving some people free advertisement. They call the police to me. This deputy here legally detained me for 18 minutes and 32 seconds. For no suspicion or nothing. He told me that I had to show him my identification to be, to be trespassed. I explained to him I was on the privilege of that road right there. Their property starts at the front tire of that uh, VW. Okay. And I'm trying to exercise my rights. Both of them gentlemen stood in a auditorium or courthouse with their hand on a Bible and they swore an oath to protect my civil rights. Yes. He's wanting my Fourth Amendment violated. He's wanting my First Amendment violated. And they called the police to me and lied. I got 28 minutes of video it shows me doing exactly what I'm doing right now on public property, exercising my right as an American. And, right, it, and any time did you go on that property? No, sir. I'll, be, I, I'll, I'll look. He knows, he knows exactly who I am. Which one? To the left. Okay. And, and, and I told him I'm going to file a formal complaint on him and him. And y'all have never, ever had a problem with Columbia County. Right. Ever. And once you realize who I am and what I'm doing, and, right. and it, it really makes y'all look bad, man. Okay. And I'm legally detained. For no crime. That that's that's a. Well, as long as you haven't been on their property, that's fine. Absolutely. Because you're outside their property, and I mean you're legally doing what you. you Absolutely. Do Can here. you explain that to them uh, so I they know. don't um, violate our, anybody else's rights? Right? They don't want you on their property. Absolutely. So I, and I don't that's go on why their they property. Were just saying a criminal trespass warning. So you've been you've been warned. I've been warned the first time that don't get an ID. The second time you do. See, he didn't know that. He didn't know that. Try to. I'm good to go with you if you're. Well, I'm good to go. Am I still detained? Thank you. Well, and uh, it just, it, thank you. I'll, I'll wait till y'all leave and then I'll leave. The staff sergeant acknowledged the man's explanation and confirmed that he had not been on the store's property. 
The man expressed his intention to file a formal complaint against the deputy who detained him, setting violations of his Fourth Amendment rights and First Amendment rights. Eventually, the deputies conceded that there was no illegality in the man's filming activity and allowed him to leave without further detainment. This incident serves as a reminder of the importance of understanding and upholding individuals' constitutional rights, even during encounters with law enforcement.